Hello, this is Christy. A common issue that I see with some people trying to use their iPhone to record on online platforms is that sometimes the phone is not detected or if you're using the continuity camera on the Mac, the phone might just disappear. I have never been able to figure out exactly the reason why the phone disappears and I can't see it and I can't select it, but I found a workaround that works most of the time. So I'm just going to show you now what I do when I can't use my iPhone with continuity camera. And I'm trying with Riverside because this is the platform that I record and I stream live with and I would like to use my iPhone for that. But sometimes it just disappears. Like now, for example, I have two cameras connected to my computer. One of them is my Logitech webcam, which I'm recording with right now because my iPhone doesn't work. And my iPhone is right here. I have it in front of me. It is on, it is locked, like they say with the continuity camera. But okay, for some reason, I'm trying to log into Riverside to go to my studio and it doesn't show my camera. If I look in the drop down here, you can see that my OBS virtual camera shows up, my Logitech webcam shows up, but my iPhone does not. So I tried refreshing, the permissions are on, I stream and record with this every day. So why doesn't it show up? I don't know. But here's what I do to actually get it to show up. And let's see if it works this time. Usually it does. So what I do is I will go and first of all, unlock and lock my phone again, right? So I'm just gonna unlock it now and I'm locking it back up. Sometimes this works, but I'm, you know, don't see it here. If I refresh the page, you know, usually I refresh after every change and I'm looking at in the drop down here, the phone isn't there yet. So what do I do? On the Mac, I open the Photo Booth app. This app, for some reason, I think it's made by Apple and it usually has a better way of detecting the iPhone. So I will launch my launcher and load the Photo Booth app. Loading this app shows my preview camera. Again, this is the same camera that I'm using now, the webcam. But if you go in the top left of the screen, I see the iPhone actually shows up as a camera in the Photo Booth app. So obviously it's there. Maybe it's because it's in my account. Let's click to select the iPhone. So the iPhone shows up and I can select it now. Look at this. I am now seen in two different cameras. And let's see. If I leave this app open, I don't think I need to, but I'll leave it open and let's refresh the page with Riverside. There you go. My iPhone now shows up in that drop down. Isn't that cool? So that's how I unfreeze or unlock the iPhone so I can use it in my recording. And here we go. I am not using headphones in Riverside. That's, you know, what you need to do if you're not using headphones to prevent echo or mic bleed. So I'm going to use that join studio. And here we are on my studio in Riverside with my iPhone. And if I open this drop down here, I'm confirming the devices that I am using. And by the way, if you're using this, you may need to check before you hit record because it doesn't allow you to change the device during recording okay so make sure you have that on and of course you can turn on the visual effects in here which are by the way back on after a while of being missing so here's a trick i use i hope it helps you to get unstuck with this continuity camera issue